sita. Verse ten. Mstari wa kumi. The book of words of God. Vitabu vya vita vya Mungu. Hana nja lwenye. Ya lwenye pak you say okay. Ya kwamba mimi ni mwanajeshi, mwanajeshi bwana asifiwe. Ya lwenye makata kesha kunyabi. Mwanajeshi ambaye atakesha hayewezi akakuja. Hanja lwenye kwamba mimi ni mwana jeshi uneno richo akiona dhambi ouunganako anajiungana nao in the name of making peace kwa jina kwamba anataka amani he who is lacks in doing work yule ambaye ni mlegevu kwa kazi yake is like a destroyer himself ni kama mwaribifu mwenyewe meaning if you cannot stand for the holiness of god Inamaanisha kwamba kama utatimama kwa utakatifu wa Mungu you are put in the same bracket with those who are doing the very sins you are covering. Unawekwa pamoja na wale ambao wanatenda dhambi ambao unafunika. Na tu ineno kani yechoni. Umeona mtu wako kwenye usherati. So you many need work we. Na umemfunika kwamba unataka amani. Mama wacho ni ine gejal na uchal kindu iso ukamora chia. Biblia inasema kwamba wewe pamoja na huyo mtu mnafanana na mtawekwa pamoja. Korolo suru kuwe oni wewe to hell. Sasa mtengenezeni amani zenu mkienda jehanamu. Wemo dwaro. Mnataka amani. Ephesians 6. Wa Efeso mlango wa sita. Mama wacha kama. Biblia inasema Finally be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Mwishowe mkue na nguvu na na, na udari kwenye Put on the full armor of God. Muwe na sila za vita vya Mungu so that you can take your stand. Ili msimame kwenye msimamo wenu against the devil schemes. Didi ya mpangilio ya shetani. Our struggle is not against flesh. Kungangana kwetu sio kwa mwili and blood. Na damu. But against rulers. Bali ni kwa viongozi. Against the authorities. Bali ni kwa mamlaka na viongozi. Against the powers of this dark world didi ya mamlaka ya nguvu za giza ya ulimwengu huu against the spiritual forces na didi ya roho za gizani of evil in the heavenly realms ya uovu ambao iko juu angani therefore sasa hivi put on the full armor of god mkue na silaha kikamilifu ya bwana so that when the day of evil come ya kwamba hiyo siku ya uovu itakapofika you may be able to stand your ground muweze kusimama dhabiti And after you have done everything. Na mkishafanya kila kitu to stand. Musimame. Stand firm. Musimame dhabiti then with the belt of truth buckled around your waist. Na kanda za ukweli ikiwa imezunguka kifuani mwenu. Meaning when the books of wars of God are open. Inamaanisha kwamba vitabu vya vita vya Mungu wakati vitafunguliwa. Then we will check. Wataangalia was there the belt of truth je kulikuwa na kanda za ukweli when you were fighting this war wakati ulikuwa unapiganiza hizi vita what was on your waist ni nini ilikuwa kwenye kiuno chako was there the belt of truth in the, his waist je kulikuwa na ukanda wa ukweli mkiuno ni mwako during his serving or being a christian wakati ulikuwa kitumika ama wakati wako wa kuwa mkristo was the truth je kulikuwa na ukweli adirabe nenti je kulikuwa na ukweli Binengadira inungoni. Je, alikuwa na ukweli kwenye kiuno chake. Binutu ya dire inungoni. Je, alifunga ukweli. As you are serving. Unapotumika. The Lord is saying. Bwana naona. With the breastplate of righteousness in the place. Ukiwa na kizuizi ya kifuani in his uhaki. Kwenye kifuani righteousness. Uhaki. A plate of righteousness. Ile kizuizi cha kifua cha uhaki in his chest. Kwenye kifua. That will be checked. Hiyo itaangaliwa and with your feet na miguuni pako the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace ukiwa tayari kwa injili ambayo inatokana na amani when the book is open wakati kitabu inavunguliwa that readiness will be checked hiyo tayari pia itaangaliwa he was fighting the fight of god ya kwamba alikuwa akipigania vita vya mungu was there readiness in his feet je alikuwa na waraka kwenye miguuni pake of taking the message of the lord ili apeleke ujumbe wa mungu nje in addition to all these kwenye kuongezea hiyo take up the shield of faith ukue na ile kisuizi ya amani with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one ambayo unaweza zuia nayo zile silaha za adui so when the books are open like this sasa wakati vitabu vitafunguliwa was there faith je kulikuwa na amani in his life 
maishani mwake as he was fighting for the lord wakati alikuwa anapigania vita vya mungu was the faith je kulikuwa na imani the bible says biblia inasema another thing that will be checked kitu kingine ambayo itaangaliwa take the helmet of salvation ya kwamba muwe na kiokofia uokovu under the sword of the spirit na upanga wa roho which is the word of god ambayo ni neno la Mungu was there the helmet of salvation je kulikuwa na kofia ya uokovu that covered his head with ambayo aliweka and was there at the sword of the spirit ya kwamba upanga wa roho was he a frequent bible reader je alikuwa akisoma biblia kila mara was he reading the word je alikuwa akisoma neno when those will be changed. wakati hizo vitu zitaangaliwa ruth park bwana sifiwe foaine yesu umpungie Yesu hivi upaki Yesu bwana sifiwe when that will be checked wakati zitaangaliwa where will it leave you itakuacha wapi where will that leave you hiyo itakuacha wapi daniel chapter number 10 danieli mlango wa 10 verses 21 mstari wa 21 the bible says biblia inasema daniel 10 danieli mlango wa 10 21 mstari wa 21 Daniel chapter number 10 Daniel mlango wa 10 The Bible says Biblia inasema Verses 21 the Bible says Mstari wa 21 Biblia inasema But first I will tell you what is written in the book of truth Lakini kwanza nitakwambia kile kilichoandikwa kwenye kitabu cha ukweli The book of truth kitabu cha ukweli the book kitabu of truth cha ukweli the next one kisha kingine the book kitabu or the book of the book of eternal life kitabu cha milele haleluya daniel chapter number 12 kitabu cha danieli mlango wa 12 verses 1 kuanzia mstari wa kwanza At that time Michael the great prince who protects your people will arise Katika wakati huo Mikaeli mtawala mkuu ambaye hulinda watu wako atainuka There will be a time of distress such as has not happened from the beginning of nations until then Kutakuwa wakati wa tabu ambao haujatokea tangu mwanzo wa mataifa hadi wakati huo But at that time lakini wakati huo your people everyone whose name is found written in the book will be delivered watu wako kila mmoja ambaye jina lake litakutwa limeandikwa kwenye kitabu ataokolewa whose name is found written in the book ambaye jina lake litakutwa limeandikwa kwenye kitabu revelation chapter number 20 ufunuo mlango wa 20 verses 11 mstari wa 11 let me read exodus then i come to that exodus chapter number 32 kutoka mlango wa 32 Exodus number 32 Kutoka mlango wa 32 The Bible says Biblia inasema Exodus 32 Kutoka mlango wa 32 The Bible says Biblia inasema Verses 31 Mstari wa 31 So Moses went back to the Lord and said Oh what a great sin these people have committed they have made themselves gods of gold hivyo Mose akarudi kwa Bwana na kumwambia Lo hao watu wamefanya dhambi kubwa namna gani wamejitengenezea miungu ya dhahabu But now please forgive their sins but if not then blot me out of the book you have written Lakini sasa nakusii wasamee dhambi yao lakini kama sivyo basi nifute kutoka kwenye kitabu ulichoandika The Lord replied to Moses, Whoever has sinned against me, I will blot out my out of my book. Bwana akamjibu Mose, yeyote aliyetenda dhambi ndiye nitakaye mfuta kutoka kwenye kitabu. Revelation chapter number 20. Ufunuo mlango wa 20. But if you sin against the Lord, ya kwamba ukitenda dhambi dhidi ya Mungu, if you lie against a brother, ukifanya uongo dhidi ya ndugu yako ukisengenya dhidi ya dada yako unatenda dhambi dhidi ya Mungu jina lako out of the book liko nje ya kitabu revelation 20 verses 11 ufunuo mlango wa 20 
Then I saw a great white throne and him who was seated on it. The earth and the heavens fled from his presence. And there was no place for them. And I saw the dead, great and small. Nami nikaona wafu huwa kubwa na wadogo standing before the throne wakiwa wamesimama mbele ya kiti cha enzi and the books were open na vitabu vikafunguliwa another book was open pia kitabu kingine kikafunguliwa which is the book of life ambacho ni kitabu cha uzima the dead were judged according to what had what they had done as recorded in the book wakahukumiwa sawa sawa na matendo yao kama yalivyoandikwa ndani ya hiyo kitabu The sea gave up the dead that were in it Bahari ikawatoa wafu waliomo ndani yake Death and heads gave up the dead that were in them Nayo mauti na kuzimu zikawatoa wafu waliomo ndani yake And each person was judged according to what they had done Na kila mtu akahukumiwa kulingana na yale aliyoyatenda Then death and heads were thrown into the lake of fire kisha mauti na kuzimu zikatupwa katika ziwa la moto the lake of fire is the second death hiyo ndiyo mauti ya pili anyone whose name was not found written in the book of life was thrown into the lake of fire iwapo mtu jina lake halikuonekana katika kile kitabu cha uzima alitupwa ndani ya zile, zile mo, ziwa la moto daniel 7:10 daniel 7 The, the Bible says a river of fire was flowing ya kwamba mtu wa moto ilikuwa ikitiririka coming out from before him ikitoka mbele yake thousands upon thousands attended him mailufu na mailufu walikuwa wakimhudumia 10000 times 10000 stood before him na mailufu 10 na mailufu 10 walisimama mbele yake the court was seated mahakama ikaketi and the books were open na vitabu vikafunguliwa first corinthians chapter number 4 wa Korintho wa kwanza mlango wa 4 The Bible says Biblia inasema 1 Corinthians chapter number 4 Wa Korintho wa kwanza mlango wa 4 The Bible says Biblia inasema 1 Corinthians chapter number 4 Wa Korintho wa kwanza mlango wa 4 The Bible says Biblia inasema Verses 5 Mstari wa 5 Therefore judge nothing before the appointed time wait until the Lord comes Kwa hiyo msihukumu jambo lolote kabla ya wakati wake ngojeni mpaka Bwana atakapokuja He will bring to light what is hidden in darkness and will expose the motives of the heart Yeye atayaleta nuruni mambo yale yaliyofichwa gizani na kuweka wazi nia za mioyo At that time each will receive their praise from God wakati huo kila mmoja atapokea sifa anayostahili kutoka kwa Mungu. Second Corinthians 5 verses 20 the Bible says. Wa Korintho wa pili mlango wa 5 mstari wa 20. 10 verses 10. Mstari Second Corinthians 5:10 the Bible says. Wa Korintho wa pili mlango wa 5 mstari wa 10. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ. Kwa kuwa sisi sote tutasimama mbele cha kiti cha ya hukumu cha Kristo so that each of us may receive what is due to us from the things done for the things done while in the body whether good or bad ili kila mmoja apate kulipwa kwa ajili ya yale ambayo yametendwa katika mwili wake yakiwa mema au mabaya for we ya kwamba sisi must all appear lazima tujitokeze what does the new version say For we must all appear. Kwamba sisi sote lazima tujidhirishe. Ni kichwa duto nyaka wa chung enyi mkombura mar Kristo mondo ngato ka ngato oyud pok moromo gigik mabeyo kata maricho mane otimo ka pod en e ringruok. For we must all appear. Ya kwamba sisi sote tutasimama. Ni kichwa duto nyaka wachunge nyimbu. Ya kwamba sisi sote lazima tutasimama mbele ya kiti cha hukumu. Mondo ngato kangato ili kila mtu. Okwachi ni family ka family. 
Asemi kwamba kila familia. Okwatini ot ka ot. Asemi kwamba kila nyumba. Ngato ka ngato. Kila mtu. Okwatini jo nyuole yodo niketi nyetendegi. Asemi kwamba watasi watapata kwa ajili ya watuto yao. Niketi wadut. Ya kwamba kwa sababu sisi sote nyaka wachunge nyimburu lazima tutasimama mbele ya kiti cha hukumu ngato kangato you'd poke maram kod ili kila mmoja apokee malipo yake don't you do chieng no ya kwamba hiyo siku ya sai biro elu gimora mora mane dano setim mungu atayafunua kila chochote ambao binadamu walikuwa akifanya nyaka mano pondo mano timbe mudho ya sai biro elu hata yale ambayo ilitendwa gizani mungu atayafunua onge gimabiro ponde nyim ya sai Hakuna kitu ambayo itafichika mbele yake. No Kusamo Na wakati atakuwa akifanya hivyo. He will hibi. be looking at the motives. Atakuwa akiangalia nia of the heart of man. Nia ya mio ya wanadamu. The everything you ever did. Kila kitu ambao ulikuwa ukifanya. Against your motive. Dhidi ya nia yako. On that day. Hiyo siku. Ngato kangato nyaka chope nyimburu. Ya kwamba kila mtu atasimama mbele ya kiti cha hukumu. Koroko kidwa bire kanisa to yo tokrach. Ya kwamba sasa kama utaki kukuja kanisani pia ni vyema. Bidi bire kanisa unge wa kama utaki ni vyema pia unasukuma ili ukuje kanisani ni sawa hivi remote bia kanisa bere but the bible says lakini biblia inasema on this material day ya kwamba hiyo siku aswa each person kila mtu each person kila mtu regardless of rank bila kujalisha mamlaka each person kila mtu will stand before them atasimama mbele ya Mungu and the books will be open na vitabu vitafunguliwa and what you did while in the body will be exposed na kile ulichofanya kama bado uko mwilini itafunuliwa Matthew chapter number 12 Mathayo mlango wa 12 the bible says Biblia inasema Matthew chapter number 12 Mathayo mlango wa 12 Matthew chapter number 12 Mathayo mlango wa 12 verses 36 mstari wa 36 na 6 Matthew 12 Mathayo 12:36 Mlango wa 36 The Bible says Biblia inasema But I tell you that everyone will have to give account on the day of judgment Lakini nawaambia katika siku ya hukumu watu watatoa hesabu kuhusu kila neno lililo lisio na maana walio nena that everyone will have to give account on the day of judgment for every empty word they have spoken lakini nawaambia katika siku ya hukumu kila mtu atatoa hesabu kuhusu kila neno lisilo na maana walio nena for by your words you will be acquainted and by your very words you will be condemned kwa maana kwa neno kwa neno yako utahesabiwa haki na kwa neno yako utahukumiwa that when you wake up in the morning ya kwamba wakati uliamuka asubuhi the, the lord begins to write bwana alianza kuandika chini every empty word you say he write kila neno lisilo na maana aliandika chini and when that day comes na hiyo siku itakapofika okibibiro ni aningene na wala wala chini hautasema kwamba hiyo siku nilikuwa nikifanya mzaa gino bena wacho maana kana wala ndio na maana kana wala hiyo pia nilisema tu kimchezo The Bible says. Biblia inasema, everyone will give account. Ya kwamba kila mtu atatoa hesabu. Every person will give account. Kila mtu atatoa hesabu on that day. Hiyo siku. Every person will give account. Kila mtu atatoa hesabu. So whatever you are saying. Sasa chochote ambacho unasema. What thought Mary Jesus neo ken wala. Hii kifo cha Yesu haikuwa ni mzaa. Yesu neo komi lo remondo dhie msalaba. Yesu waku aku, aku, aku ili aende msalabani. So uwezi kuja na useme ati ana wala wala. Yesu ne oko walo sama no dia msalaba. Koro kinyale bilo ti wacho ni na wala wala. Yesu ne oko tu goka no dia msalaba. Walo mi walo gono no mi o dia msalaba. Hiyo mchezo ambao unafanya ndio ilifanya kwamba akaenda msalabani. Nikit kano neno richo madhano team. Kwa sababu wakati aliona dhambi ambao wanadamu walikuwa kifanya. Yesu no dia msalaba. Yesu alienda msalabani. Eka podi chopo kamoro ma podi ngeru ri ni anangere angere. Na inafika ngeru rigi richo. Na inafika maulu anasema kwamba nilikuwa nikifanya mzao. Unafanya msana dhambi. E angere no no dia msalaba. Kwenye hiyo mzaa alienda msalabani. Noken tugo. Haikuwa ni mzaa. Then ni nangera ngera. Ni unasema kwamba nilifanya tu mchezo. On that day. Hiyo siku. Every person. Kila mtu will give account. Atatoa hesabu. On the empty words. Kwenye kila neno. Kwenye kila neno lisilo na maana ambao walinena. 
you will give account. Utaitwa utoe hesabu. Yato bena yodo manaka giwe tapo manaka donje. You will give account. Ya kwamba nilifika tu nikapata kwamba wananena kuhusu hiyo nikaingia utatoa hesabu weche magdogi kila neno la kijo ina neno ya kuburoloi itafanya ushindwe na hukumu tukende manemilo bura na itafanya pia ushinde hukumu okmachiangano ya sio ya hiyo siku sane hivi sasa mewacho sane kapodengeno yenye unasema sasa hivi bible says Bible inasema Revelation chapter number 2 Ufunuo mlango wa pili Bible inasema Revelation 2 Ufunuo mlango wa pili verses 1 To the angel of the church in Ephesus write These are the words of him who holds the seven stars in his right hand and walks among the seven gold lampstands Kwa malaika wa kanisa lilioko Efeso andika Haya ndio maneno ya yule alie aliyeshika zile nyota saba katika mkono wake wa kuume na ambaye hutembea katikati kati kati ya vile vinara saba vya taa vya dhahabu verses 8 to the end of the church in Smyrna right these are the words of him who is the first and the last who died and came to life again kwa malaika wa kanisa lilioko Smyrna andika Haya ndiyo maneno ya, yake yeye aliye yeye aliye wa kwanza na wa mwisho aliyekuwa aliyekufa kisha akafufuka Luke chapter number 3 verses 4 Luka mlango wa 3 mstari wa 4 The Bible says Biblia inasema As it is written in the book of the words of Isaiah the prophet Jinsi ambavyo imeandika kwenye kitabu cha Isaya nabii A voice of one calling in the wilderness. Sauti iliyokia yenye kani. Prepare the way for the Lord. Andaini njia ya Bwana. Make straight paths for him. Muweke njia ya unyofu kwake. Every valley shall be filled and every mountain and hill made low. Kila bonde litajazwa na kila milima zitawasishwa. The crooked roads shall become straight. The rough ways smooth. Na njia ambayo iziko na mashimo zitajazwa na kila njia itawekwa sawa. And all the people will see God's salvation. Na watu wote wataona uokovu wa Mungu. As it is written in the book of Isaiah. Jinsi imeandikwa kwenye kitabu cha Isaya. Prepare the way. Andaini njia. Looking at your life. Ukiangalia maisha yako. Are the roads all level? Je, njia zote zimesawasishwa? Are the roughness smoothed? Je, mali penye ziko na mashimo zimejazwa? Are the portals filled? Je, mashimo zimejazwa? Looking at your life. Ukiangalia maisha yako. If you look at your life. Ukiangalia maisha yako. Have you prepared the way? Je, umeandaa njia? Looking at your life. Ukiangalia maisha yako. The Lord is saying. Bwana anasema, when that voice comes. Wakati hiyo sauti inakuja will cry though from the wilderness italia bali ni kwenye kani but the voice is saying lakini sauti inasema straighten the paths ya kwamba mnyosheni njia make straight the paths mnyosheni njia if you look at your life ukiangalia maisha yako are you walking straight je unatembea kwa unyofu if you look at your life ukiangalia maisha yako is there straightness in your behavior je kuna unyofu kwenye matendo yako if you look at your life Ukiangalia maisha yako. Have you straightened things? Je, umenyoosha vitu? If you look at your life. Ukiangalia maisha yako. It is true the voice is crying in the wilderness. Ni ukweli sauti inalia nyikani. But the voice is saying. Lakini sauti inasema. If there is any valley in your life. Ya kwamba kama kuna bonde maishani mwako. It should be filled. Inafaa ijazwe. Any hill or mountain. Na kama kuna milima. Should be leveled zinafazi za washishwe kama kuna mashimo njiani should be straight zinafazi jazwe and the rough roads na njia ambayo iko na milima milima should be smooth lazima zisawashishwe if you look at your life ukiangalia maisha yako it is beautiful to come to the church ni vyema sana kuja kanisani but a day is coming lakini siku inakuja when all of us wakati sisi zote will give account tutatoa hesabu on that day hiyo siku you will not say your pastor did not tell you au utasema kwamba mchungaji wako hawakuambia 
The book of witness vitabu ya ushahidi will be standing next to you there zitasimama dhidi yako mbele yako and will testify na itashuhudia anything that is ever written here na chochote ambayo imewahi andikwa hapo there's another book of moses kuna kitabu kingine cha mose that will stand and testify that is the book that will be used the most ambayo itasimama na ishudie hiyo ndio kitabu ambayo ita tumika sana. The Lord says. Bwana anasema. They sat the scriptures. Ya kwamba walichunguza maandiko. Thinking that in them there's eternal life. Wakidhania kwamba mle ndani kuna uzima wa milele. They purport to be believers in Moses. Walikuwa wanajifanya kwamba wanaamini kwake Musa. They believe in the law of Moses. Waliamini kwa amri za Musa. And I will not testify against them but Moses. Lakini mimi sitashuhudia dhidi yao bali ni Musa. Moses will. Musa atafanya. And right now na sasa hivi he has released two amewachilia wawili he did not bring moses alone akuleta mose peke yake alongside he brought elijah kando na yeye alileta elia and the lord is saying na bwana anasema any case ya kwamba kesi yote must be testified against by at least two witnesses lazima kuwe na washahidi wawili if that day falls kama hiyo siku itangu and you find yourself na upatikane will you be vindicated Je, utaepuka looking at the books that the Lord is writing. Ukiangalia vitabu ambavyo Bwana anaandika. The words of God. Vita vya Mungu. Every word that you utter. Kila neno ambao ulitamuka. The motives of the heart. Nia za moyo. Anything that you say. Kila kitu ambao ulifanya. Anything you did in the night. Kila kitu ambao ulifanya usiku. Everything has been recorded. Kila kitu kimenakiliwa. Will you be able? Je, utaweza? May the Lord Bwana wabariki. But that day, ya kwamba hiyo siku is coming. Inakuja. That day, hiyo siku is coming. Inakuja. That day, hiyo siku is coming. Inakuja. that day hiyo siku is coming inakuja the bible says biblia inasema then i saw the ancient of days kisha nikaona mzee wa siku he came and took his seat alikuja akaketi kwenye kiti chake 10000 times 10000 took charge Mailufu na mailufu wakachukua shukani in his service mbele yake the courts were seated na mahakama ikaketi the books were open vitabu vikafunguliwa that day hiyo siku when the books will be open wakati vitabu vitafunguliwa what is it that will be found written against your name je ni nini itapatikana limeandikwa dhidi ya jina lako when the books Kati vitabu vitafunguliwa what will they find written in your name ni nini watapata kimeandikwa kwenye jina lako when the books are open wakati vitabu vitafunguliwa what is it that will be against your name ni nini kitakuwa dhidi ya jina lako when the books are open wakati vitabu vitafunguliwa what is it that will be written against your name ni nini itapatikana limeandikwa dhidi ya jina lako When the books are open. Wakati vitabu vitafunguliwa. What is it that will be found? Ni nini hicho kitapatikana? Against your name. Dhidi ya jina lako. When the books are open. Wakati vitabu vitafunguliwa. What is it that will be against your name? Ni nini itakuwa dhidi ya jina lako? It is one thing to come to the church. Ni kitu kimoja kwamba ukikuja kanisani. But one day. Lakini siku moja. The Bible says Biblia inasema when i looked ya kwamba nilipotazama i saw the ancient of days taking his seat niliona mzee wa siku akiketi kwenye kiti chake and the court was seated na mahakama ikaketi and then the books na kisha vitabu wa open zikafunguliwa when the book will be open wakati kitabu kitafunguliwa no yudi nyingi kachalona Je, watapata jina lako limekaje? When the books are open. Wakati vitabu vitafunguliwa. Nyingi na yodekane kanye. Jina lako litapatikana wapi? When the books are open. 
wakati vitabu vitafunguliwa no yudi nyingi kwa makanya je jina lako litapatikana upande upi when the books are open wakati vitabu vitafunguliwa no yudi ka nyingi cha lonad je jina lako litapatikana aje when the books are open wakati vitabu vitafunguliwa then everything is exposed na kila kitu kitafunuliwa what will they say je watasema nini against you didi yako what will those books testify against you hizo the vitabu zitashuhudia jinsi gani when the books lako. are finally open wakati mwisho wa vitabu vitafunguliwa what will be a testimony against your name ushuhuda itakuwaje dhidi ya jina lako it is true you've been coming to the church ni ukweli umekuwa ukikuja kanisani but a day is ahead of us here lakini kuna siku hapa mbele yetu the motives will be checked Nia zitaangaliwa. They will look at your name. Wataangalia jina lako. And look at the motive. Na waangalie nia. Yes it is true you went to visit a widow. Ni ukweli ulienda kutembelea mjane. But what was the motive behind it? Lakini nia nyuma yake ilikuwa ni nini? Yes it is true you came early to pray. Ni ukweli ulikuja mapema asubuhi kuomba. But what is the motive behind it? Lakini nia nyuma yake ilikuwa ni nini? Yes it is true you have come you are coming to the kesha. Ni ukweli umekuwa ukikuja mkesha. But what is the motive behind that lakini nia nyuma yake ni nini what has pushed you to do that ni nini likusukuma kufanya hiyo one day siku moja it will be an end itakuwa mwisho wake it will be an end deal itakuwa siku ya mwisho when that day comes wakati hiyo siku itafika what will you say ni nini utasema what will you do ni nini utafanya when the court is seated wakati mahakama itaketi then the books are open na kisha vitabu vikafunguliwa what will the book say against your name vitabu vitasema nini dhidi ya jina lako what will the book say against your name vitabu vitasema nini dhidi ya jina lako the lord is saying bwana anasema when you see a liar ya kwamba ukiona muongo you party with them unaungana na yeye when you see a thief ukiona mwizi you join and with them unaungana na yeye that are not correct umetamuka maneno ya sio sawa and the lord kept quiet na bwana alinyamaza and somehow you thought it was like you na ulifikiria kwamba yeye ni kama ni you continued serving uliendelea mbele kutumika you continued serving uliendelea mbele kutumika and the grace of the lord you saw was there na neema ya mungu uliona mle ndani so you thought the lord was like you sali uliona kwamba mungu ni kama wewe you thought the lord was like you uliona ni mungu ni kama wewe but he saying na anasema he will expose the motives atafunua at the judgment seat kwenye hiyo siku when he ya testifies against you wakati alishuhudia dhidi yako if you look at your life ukiangalia maisha yako looking at your life ukiangalia maisha yako looking at your life ukiangalia maisha yako if you look at your life ukiangalia maisha yako if you look at your living ukiangalia jinsi unaishi you look at the way you talk ukiangalia jinsi unaongea the bible says biblia inasema that day ya kwamba hiyo siku all of us sisi sote every person kila mtu each man kila binadamu every woman kila mwanamke will stand against the judgment seat of the lord atasimama mbele cha kiti cha enzi cha kumu na sisi sote each person will give account kila mtu atatoa hesabu there will be accountability kutakuwa na kutoa hesabu each person giving an account kila mtu atawajibika each person will give an account kila mtu atatoa hesabu on that day hiyo siku each person will give an account kila mtu atatoa hesabu on that day hiyo siku each person will give an account kila mtu atatoa hesabu when that day arrives wakati hiyo siku itafika what will you tell the lord ni nini utamwambia bwana what will you tell the lord utamwambia bwana nini what is it that you will tell the lord ni nini utamwambia bwana what is it that you will tell the lord ni nini utamwambia bwana what is it that you will tell the lord ni nini utamwambia bwana the courts were seated ya kwamba mahakama waliketi and the books were open na vitabu in your service as a christian kwenye huduma yako kama mkristo how have you worked your salvation umetembea aje na wokovu wako how have you worked your salvation umetembea aje na wokovu wako is there the belt of truth around your waist je kuna ukanda wa ukweli kiunini mwako do you have the helmet of salvation je uko na kofia ya wokovu do you have the breastplate of righteousness je uko na kizuizi cha kifua cha do you have the shield of faith Je uko na mkuki ya Do you have the sword of God? Je uko na mkuki ya Mungu? What will you say? Utafanya nini? When they checked how you live your salvation. Wakati wataangalia jinsi umeishi na wokovu. Only to realize there was no salvation. Wakigundua tu kwamba hukuwa na wokovu. When they check your life as a Christian. Wakiangalia maisha yako kama mkristo. Only to realize there was no truth. Kugundua tu kwamba hukuwa na ukweli. When they check around your ways. Wakiangalia njia zako. They don't see any truth. Hawakuona ukweli yeyote. When they check around your chest. Wakati waliona wangeleana ya kifo. They see no righteousness at all. Hawakuona uhakika 
Yet the Lord is saying, in serving as a servant, in doing your ministry, as a born again Christian, when your feet is checked, fitted with the readiness to go and preach, if they open the book of words, and then they check your feet, is there the readiness to preach the gospel? When they check the feet, is it fitted with the readiness to preach? When the books are open, then they look around your waist. Do they see the belt of truth around your waist? When they look at your hand, will they see the shield of faith around you? When they look at you again, will they see the sword of the sword of the Lord, which is the word of God, will they see? Will they see? Will it be found in those books? That when your head is checked, the helmet of salvation, will it be there? Will it be there? Will it be there? Will it be there? Somebody talk to the Lord. Somebody talk to the Lord. The day is very bad ahead of us. The day is very hard ahead of us. Very bad ahead of us here. The Lord is saying, whoever is his servant, who is born again fighting the war of salvation, if you start from the feet, Fitted with the readiness. Akiwa na utayari. Fitted with the readiness. Akiwa na utayari. Of preaching the gospel. Ya kubiri njili. If you check their feet. Their shoes are ready. Those who are fighting the war of salvation. If you see their feet, the readiness to go and preach. If your life is checked today, when was the last time you preached to a person? When was the last time? When was the last time you took this gospel? The Lord is saying in his books those who will be there they are ready to take the gospel of the cross. If you look at their waist the belt of truth if you look at their chest the breastplate of righteousness if you look at their hand the sword of the word of God. If you look at their hand, the shield of faith, you look at their head, the helmet of salvation. If you check your life, if you check your life, if you check your life, the book of war is opened. Will it be written in like manner? During your serving as a Christian, you are ready to preach the gospel of Jesus. When was the last time you preached the gospel? When was the last time you preached the gospel? When was the last time you preached? When they look at your head, the helmet of salvation. Helmet of salvation. When they open the book of truth, they find your waist fitted with the belt of truth. When that day comes, where will you be? Where will you be? Where will you be? Where will you be? When that day comes, where will you be? When that day comes. Where will you be? Where will you be? Where will you be? When that day comes. Where will you be? When that day comes. What is it that will be against your name? What is it that is against your name? And then they open the book of truth. Will there be truth in your life? 
Je, kutakuwa na ukweli maisha yako? Will there be truth in your life? Je, kutakuwepo na ukweli maisha yako? They open the book of motives. Wakifungua kitabu cha nia. Written against you. Ikiandikwa dhidi yako. The motives that pushed you to serve. Nia ambayo ilikusukuma kutumika. Will it be the love of God? Je, itakuwa ni upendo wa Mungu? All be it will be show up to ama itakuwa ni uonyesho tu or it will be for show up ama itakuwa ni uonyesho tu what will be the motive nini itakuwa ni nia then they open the book of words wakati wataangalia vikitabu cha what neno. words will they found ni maneno gani watayapata again is your name dhidi ya jina lako what are the words they will found ni maneno gani watayapata what are the words they will found ni maneno gani watayapata what are the words they will found ni maneno gani watayapata again is your name dhidi ya jina lako when you are checked wakati utaangaliwa checked again utaangaliwa tena on the day we stand before the lord kwenye siku utasimama mbele ya mungu mahakama imeketi and the books are open na vitabu vinaangaliwa then they look for salvation kisha wanaangalia uokovu the helmet of salvation kofia ya uokovu will they find it in you je wataipata kwako what will you say nini utasema somebody call upon the lord mtu ita bwana just call upon the lord ita tu bwana just call upon the lord ita tu bwana just call upon the lord ita tu bwana somebody just call upon the lord mtu ita tu bwana just call upon the lord 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 ita tu bwana what will be found against you ni nini itapatikana dhidi yako pia isha bire kanisa Mwenteto umekunya kanisa. Nikinigitei sebete kanisa. Hizi miaka zote umekueti kanisa. Eki ya ubugulwe. Na wakifundua wakifundua kitabu ya vita. Hiyo ubugulwe ni magruo. Wakifundua kitabu ya vita. Hiyo ndo maana kisebedo kipando richo. Wanapata kwamba ulikuwa kificha dhambi. Sebedo maana kipando richo. Wanapata kwamba ulikuwa kificha dhambi. Sebedo maana kipando richo. Wanapata kwamba ulikuwa kificha dhambi. Sebedo maana kipando richo. Wanapata kwamba ulikuwa kificha dhambi. Biro wacho nango. Utasema nini? Biro wacho nango. Utasema yapi? Yule mwana kipando richo. Watapata kwamba ulikuwa kificha dhambi. Phineas no kopando. Yangu kwamba Phineas hakuficha. Yeye sasa no mie winjiru wakumanyaka chie. Na Mungu alimpatia upatanishi wa milele. Omiengi mamanyaka chie. Akampatia uzima wa milele. Omie kue manyaka chie. Akampatia amani ya milele. Ni biro yudu komia ngo. Wewe utapatikana umepewa nini? Ritukikeni ma God road. Unaongojea zina za Mungu. Ni biro yudu komia ngo. Watapata kwamba umepatiwa nini? Ibro yudu komia ngo. Watapata umepatiwa nini? Ibro yudu komia ngo. Utapata umepewa nini? Ibro yudu kondeka ngwe nyingi. Ni nini litandikwa dhidi ya jina lako? Nibed malenga rako, so nibed ya teach. Utakuwa mlegevu hata kwa wadama utakuwa mwenye kazi. Uma wachonea. Bibili nasema. Yalno madu wako ki sword koto okoti moremo. Ya kwamba yule mwenye nadudi da upanga bila kumwaga damu. Yalno matimo teach kanyapu na mwenye nafanya kazi yake kiulegevu chalege jongo matimu richo no uone ni kama wenye wanafanya dhambi wenyewe what will you do ni nini utafanya somebody talk to the lord mtu ongea na mungu somebody talk to the lord mtu ongea na bwana somebody talk to the lord mtu ongea na bwana somebody talk to the lord mtu ongea na bwana somebody talk to the lord mtu ongea na bwana the books will be open vitabu vitafunguliwa the books vitabu will be open vitafunguliwa it is true you've been a christian ni ukweli umekuwa mkristo but that also will be in the book lakini hiyo pia itakuwepo kwenye kitabu it's okay to say you are born again ni vyema kusema umeokoka but there's also the helmet of salvation lakini pia kuna kofia ya uokovu and the books will be checked na vitabu vitaangaliwa if it is true kama ni ukweli you can talk to the lord unaweza ongea na mungu you can talk to the lord unaweza ongea na mungu you can talk to the lord unaweza ongea na mungu you can talk to the lord unaweza ongea na mungu you can talk to the lord unaweza ongea na mungu you can talk to the lord unaweza ongea na mungu You can talk to the Lord. Unaweza ongea na Mungu. You can talk to the Lord. Unaweza ongea na Mungu. You can talk to the Lord. Unaweza ongea na Mungu.
The books are open. Vitabu vitafunguliwa. The court is seated. Mahakama imeketi. I'm not hearing anybody. Siski mutu. You pande awa mama wa melala. Ama wanaomba. Julia can you confirm? Amisha awa mama wa ombe wache mchezu. Somebody talk to the Lord. Then I saw the ancient of days. Wakati waliona mzee wa siku. Taking his seat. Akichukua kiti chake. And the court was the court was seated. Na mahakama iliketi. And the books were open. Na vitabu vikafunguliwa. Have you been zealous to the Lord? Je, umekuwa na ahari na Mungu? That is recorded. Hiyo inanakiliwa. When you went to war, wakati ulienda vitani, and people returned. Na watu wakarudi. How was your sword? Upanga yako ilikuwaje? That is written. Upanga yako ilikuwaje? That will be written. Hiyo itandikwa. When you found a chance to speak. Wakati ulipata kanisa ya kunenea. A chance to speak. Wakati ulipata nafasi ya kunenea. What are the type of words you use? Ni aina gani ya maneno ulitumia? Ana wala wala. Mimi nilikuwa nikifanya mzaa. All the empty words you ever said. Maneno yote matupu yasiyo na maana will be written. Itandikwa. Will be written. Itandikwa. And I saw the ancient of days take his seat. Nikaona mzee wa siku akichukua kiti chake. And the court was seated. Na mahakama ikaketi. And the books. Na vitabu. Open. Vika funguliwa. And the books were open. Na vitabu vika funguliwa. And the books. Na vitabu. And another book na kitabu kingine was open kikafunguliwa The book of truth. Kitabu cha ukweli.
and the books na vitabu wa open vika funguliwa in them ndani mwao recorded ikanakiliwa everything that you ever did kila chochote ambayo umewahi fanya whether good iwe ni mzuri or bad ama ni mabaya sereta iliandikwa i want us to receive the lord nataka tumpokee bwana worship in the books na vitabu wa open zikafunguliwa every person na kila mtu as is recorded in the books amenakiliwa kwenye vitabu they were dead If at all ikiwa you have anything uko na jambo la Lord you want the Lord to help you ambaye unataka Bwana akusaidie you can move forward
Il fait tout. Il va tout. Yoga ni issue that you want the Lord to help. Huko na jambo lolote ambalo nataka Bwana akusaidie. Move forward. Kuja mbele. Stop to the You know what you want from the Lord. Unajua yale unataka kutoka kwa Bwana. Just stop to the Lord. Ongea tu na Bwana. Just stop to the Lord. Ongea tu na Bwana. The Lord is able. Bwana anaweza. The Lord is able. Bwana anaweza. Lord is able. Bwana anaweza. Just raise your hands and talk to the Lord. Inua tu mkono wako mbele ya Bwana. Just talk to the Lord. The Lord is able. Bwana anaweza. There's power in the blood. Kuna nguvu ndani ya damu. Just talk to the Lord. Ongea tu na Bwana. Whatever it is, just hand it over to the Lord. Chochote kile iwasilishe mbele za Bwana. The Lord is able. Bwana anaweza. Wacha wacha na Yesaya. Mwambie tu Bwana. Let's hand it over to Jesus. Siwasilishe tu mbele ya Yesu. Let's hand it over to the Lord. Nipeane tu kwa Bwana. Let's hand it over to the Lord. Nipeane tu kwa Bwana. Let's hand it over to the Lord. Nipeane tu kwa Bwana. Let's hand it over to the Lord. Nipeane tu kwa Bwana. Is hand it over to the Lord. Nipeane tu kwa Bwana. Is able. Anaweza. The Lord is able. Bwana anaweza. It does not matter. Haijalishi. There's power in the blood. Kuna nguvu ndani ya damu. Is hand it over to the Lord. Nipeane tu kwa Bwana. Is hand it over to the Lord. Nipeane tu kwa Bwana. Is hand it over to the Lord. Nipeane tu kwa Bwana. Maybe you try Wende umejaribu. But it is not going. Lakini haiendi. Today you hand it over to the Lord. Leo hii peana kwa Bwana. Just surrender it to Jesus. Isalimishe tu kwa Yesu. Surrender it to the Lord. Isalimishe kwa Bwana. Surrender it to the Lord. Isalimishe tu kwa Bwana. There's power in the blood. Kuna nguvu ndani ya damu. There's power in the blood. Kuna nguvu ndani ya damu. There's power in the blood. Kuna nguvu ndani ya damu. There's power in the blood. Kuna nguvu ndani ya damu. There's power in the blood. Kuna nguvu ndani ya damu. He's just waiting that you hand it over. Anakuongoja ili uepeane. Just hand it over to the Lord. Ipeane tu kwa Bwana. He's waiting that you can talk to him. Anaongoja ili uongee na yeye. The Lord is waiting. Bwana anaongoja. Surrender it to Jesus. Ipeane kwa Yesu. Surrender it to the Lord. Isalimishe kwa Bwana. Surrender it to the Lord. Isalimishe kwa Bwana. Is able. Anaweza. The Lord is able. Bwana 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 anaweza. Surrender it to Jesus. 
Just surrender it to Jesus. Surrender it to Jesus. Surrender it to Jesus. Surrender it to Jesus. He's able. He's able. He's able. He's waiting that you want it. Just surrender it to Jesus. Surrender it to Jesus. Mengine umejaribu sana. Umengangana ya mashindikana. Lakini yuko Yesu. Yesu yuko. Hand it over to Jesus. Hand it over to Jesus. Hand it over to Jesus. Surrender it to Jesus. There's power in the blood. 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 The Bible says. He saves the broken hearted. He saves the broken hearted. Surrender it to Jesus. There's power in the blood of Jesus. Just surrender it to the Lord. He's waiting. And been waiting. He has 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 been waiting. He There's power in the blood. There's power in the blood. There's power in the blood. Surrender it to Jesus. Just tell it all to the Lord. Surrender it to Jesus. Surrender it to the Lord. Surrender it to the Lord. Surrender it to the Lord. The Lord is waiting that you can tell him. He's waiting that you can tell him. Waiting that you can tell him. Surrender it to Jesus. Surrender it to Jesus. Surrender it to Jesus. The 
It's still possible. It's still possible. It's still possible. It's still possible. Still possible with the Lord. 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 He's just waiting that you surrender it to Him. Somebody set him Beana kwa Yesu. Chiwe na Yesu. Beana kwa Yesu. Chiwe na Yesu. Beana kwa Yesu. Chiwe na Yesu. Lakini umejaribu sana. Sasa boki sete maenya. Umejaribu sana. Ni sete maenya. Lakini leo kuna nguvu. Tokaona ni tiere tete. Leo kuna nguvu kwa damu ya Yesu. Ni tiere tete kwa damu Yesu. Damu ya Yesu iko na mamlaka. Ni sasa Yesu iko na uweza. Ni sasa nini kinyalo? Damu ya Yesu. The Lord is aware of everything. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Baba, katika jina kula Yesu. These are your sons and your daughters, Jehovah. They have come before you this afternoon. With the issues and cases in their lives, mighty Father. They need an intervention from you, Jehovah. Lord, I welcome you to take over in their lives, mighty Father. I welcome you to help them, King of Glory. May you come through for them, mighty Lord. And meet each and every person at his or a point of need. You know the mighty Father. Long are the times they have tried. But today they have decided to surrender it to you, Jesus. Mighty Father. Lord, I invite you to take over. I invite you to help them, Jehovah. I invite you to stretch your long arm and reach out to them, Jehovah. I invite you to help them, King of Glory. I invite you to take over in their lives, mighty Father. Come through in their problems, mighty Lord. Come through in their items of prayer, mighty Father. Come through in their families, my Lord. Come through in their health, mighty Father. Come through in their businesses, mighty Lord. 
come through Jehovah all round for the mighty Lord. You are the King of kings, you are the King of glory. They are broken before the mighty Lord. They are broken before you, King of glory. Within them they are broken so very much, my Lord. They cannot do a thing without you from here. That is why I invite you to take over. That is why I invite you to take charge. That is why I plead with you that you may take over, Lord. May you help them, King of glory. May you help them, Lord of lords. May you help them, mighty Father. May you help them, King of glory. May you see to it that you meet the mighty Father. Father, we thank and we bless you. We honor you and we worship you. In the mighty name of Jesus, we have prayed and believed you want no one to return to the Lord let us return to Jesus mighty Lord Jesus I repent today of all my sins the sins I have committed before you Wash me by the blood of your son Jesus. Wash me by the blood of your son Jesus. 